What's up YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day or night. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create these speakers shockwaves effect inside of After Effects. Let's get into it. I'll be adding the shockwaves effect on this clip over here. Create a new comp, something that's 1080 by 1080. Waveforms. Hit OK. Inside this new comp, create a new solid. Uh, let's make it white. Then draw a circle. Uh, kind of a perfect circle around this. I'll move it back in the center. Hit M twice so that you get the mask expansion. Add a keyframe. We'll constrict the mask so that it's smallest. Go later on and then put it back to, was it zero? Yeah, make sure that's easy ease so that it just goes on something like this. I'll put the second keyframe closer so that it's a bit faster. It just goes on like this. Uh, let's feather it more up to around 30. That's our basic movement. Click on the mask, hit Ctrl D so that you have two masks. On the second mask, put it on subtract instead. Then in between these two keyframes, okay. For the second mask, reduce the value for mask expansion and you will start seeing the white parts or the white ring much better. Such that now if I scroll through, we have this ring that appears. The position of this mid keyframe will determine how thick this ring will be. If I take it towards the center, we'll have a smaller ring. So that's what you're looking for. Collapse those menus, hit T, add a keyframe for opacity. As the ring uh, approaches the end of the cycle, we need it to disappear. So right about here, we take it back to zero in terms of the opacity put these keyframes a bit closer together and easy that. So this will be basically what you are working with. You can cut where it ends, Control Shift D. We can make the rings pulsate by simply Control D to duplicate, probably make a few copies of them and move them like a staircase. And then just mess with the timing, see how they appear, yeah. This will also determine how fast they will be in our final render. So this is something that you'll always come back and adjust as you go on. We can go back to our original comp, import these waveforms and it will look like this in our main comp. You can scale this up to make this bigger. And this will be a matter of personal preference. I think this is a good perfect circle. From here, create a new adjustment layer. On your effects, add motion tile. Mirror the edges and then increase the output width and height. Anywhere above 300 should be okay. Then add displacement map. Change the displacement map to the waveforms. Increase the horizontal and vertical displacement. Once you do that, disable the visibility for this comp, for the waveforms, and this is our this is kind of our displacement map. To make the waves to look as if they're originating from the speaker, it means we'll have to go back to our waveforms, hit P and drop this value downwards, and then come back and you'll see it will kind of reflect the origin. That is looking better. We'll go back to our waveforms, then hit S and scale these circles up. So we are up, up to 200% so that we have these gigantic waves spreading on. So kindly take note of this back and forth that you'll have to do with this. Now, if we come back to our main sequence, we can see that the waves kind of disappear after around somewhere here. How to fix that? Come back to your main sequence, right click on this space and go to the composition settings. Now make this sequence bigger. I'll multiply this number, these values by three. So this will be Damn, I need a calculator. 1080 times three, 3240, okay? So I'll put 3240 for both parameters. So that now we have a bigger sequence, which means that you can also increase the scaling. So up to around 300% or thereabout. And if we jump back to our main sequence, Everything should line up perfectly. 
and that's a really clean shockwave effect if you did enjoy this one make sure to hit the like button so that it's recommended to other people with the same interest as you don't forget to visit my website at dannyjames.co i have presented packs that should level up your visuals and save you more time during editing my name is danny james see you guys on the next tutorial peace out <laughs>